<laughs> I want to build good decks, but I just don't know how I can afford it. Are you tired of expensive mana bases always breaking the bank? Trying to keep up on your playsets of fetches and shocks? Worried you'll never make it into modern without them? What are you going to do? Try Gateshift, the only modern viable deck made from Ravnica 3 bulk uncommons. Don't believe me? Check out this testimonial. I tried Gateshift and was mildly successful. Warning, side effects of Gateshift may include, but are not limited to, maniacal laughter, loss of friends, decrease in win percentage, mild headache, nausea. If you or a loved one are suffering from jank addiction, remember to subscribe to this channel. Before I get too far ahead of myself, here's the deck list I'm using. It's a little different in the first couple decks because I wasn't intelligent enough to actually put Ancient Stirrings in the deck and make a competent sideboard, but there'll be a Stream Decker link in the description below where you can get a full text copy of the deck list. All right. Gate shift. See how it does. Yes, I would love to play first. Um. Well, this isn't the worst hand I've ever seen, so let's do it. Uh, we do not currently need to stop on our own upkeep. Play a Simic Guild Gate and pass the turn. Opponent. Blood Crypt. Shocks passes. Ooh, amulet. Play an amulet. Play Grohl Guildgate. Untap Grohl Guildgate. And pass the turn. Oh, there we go. Opponent cycles Horror of the Broken Lands. Ooh, looks like it's a living end. Do you think Living End can stand up to the Guild Gates? <laughs> uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, Alright. Untap a Boros Guild Gate. And play Guild Summit. With any luck, even if our opponent... Hmm, I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything. Our opponent could make us totally eat it. Well, next turn, we can Circuitous Route into holding up a Remand. Mausoleum Secrets for Living End. Oh, okay, so they've got to be doing the Electro Dominance thing. All right, so they're probably going to reanimate their whole graveyard this turn. All right, let's play a Simic Guild Gate, stack our triggers, draw a card, Circuitous Route, let's get a Azorius and a Golgari Guild Gate. Opponent cycles a Horror of the Broken Lands. Fetches with Bloodstain Mire. Oh, they're going for it now, huh? Uh, Azorius Guildgate and Golgari Guildgate. If our opponent lets us untap, we'll have a remand. They do. We draw another remand. Oh man, we might be getting somewhere. Uh, that's definitely a mistake on our opponent's part. They have decided against it. Oh, they're going. They're waiting till end step. Okay, so opponent casts electro dominance for zero. Puts living end on the stack. We have a remand ready to go. We find and open the gates. Remand of the Living End. Do they have another one? If they do, it puts them behind at least one turn. Cathartic Reunion. 
Dumps a monstrous carryabid and a lightning bolt. Shocks a blood crypt. Okay, looks like our opponent got a second one. Well, we could draw a uh, Gates of Blaze here. Can we draw an Explore? So play Selesnia Guildgate, untap and draw, play Explore, we draw Gates of Blaze, Whew. play Gateway Plaza, untap, pay one to prevent this, cast Gates of Blaze, wipe the board, pass turn, hold up remand. Oh man, we might win with <laughs> this. Is, we might win with the. Uh... Oh man, I'd be so stoked if we win. Opponent casts a horror of the broken lands. We fire off a remand. Opponent scoops it up. <laughs> Gate shift. Gate shift is real versus living end. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. So we'll bring in fogs. Um, uh, bring in the fogs. We'll go down. I think splendid reclamation and maybe an open the gates and one bring to light. Try like that. Oh man. This is the first two man I've taken taken this into. I did a couple of test two mans, but this is the first two man like I just I sat down, started recording, and first two man, we win game one. Versus Living End, it's real. Mmm. This hand is a little slow and we have no interaction. I'm gonna mulligan. Alright, this one's a little better. We have a remand. We'll put an island on top. Would really like to hold up a remand turn two. Opponent starts Blood Crypt, shocks. We untap. Play Azorius Guildgate, pass the turn. Opponent cycles a Horror of the Broken Lands. And a Street Wraith. Plays a Black Cleave Cliffs. Cathartic Reunions, pitching Ingot Chewer and a Blood Crypt. They brought in Ingot Chewers, interesting. We draw a Growth Spiral. We'll play an Island, pass the turn. Would really like some green mana here. Opponent Dresses. Well, cycle the Remand. We draw an explore. Opponent duresses. I think they tr I'm you know, I'm not sure what they take. I'm thinking gates ablaze. But I don't know for sure. Okay, they take Gates of Blaze. Plays a Blood Crypt tapped. We draw green mana. Opponent taps three red mana for a Fulminator Mage. Blows up our green mana. Oh no. That's, uh, that's our deck's secret weakness, is Fulminator Mage. We draw Guild Summit. Hmm. We'll play Maze's End. Note to self, do not keep hands without green mana, if at all possible.
Opponent taps two black for hopefully not another Fulminator. Collective Brutality. Okay. As long as they don't have the combo yet, we should be okay. Opponent takes Circuitous Route. Passes. We get an Amulet of Vigor. So, play Guild Summit. Pass the turn. Hopefully we draw a Gruul Guild Gate, Golgari Guild Gate, Simic Guild Gate, or any other green producing one. Opponent Mausoleum Secrets. Oh, for some reason I thought this... Okay, you could only search for a black card, but I thought this counted the number of black creature cards. My mistake. That seems really good in this deck. I might have to build um, Electro Dominance uh, Living End. Okay. Oh, they got a Fulminator Mage. They didn't go for a combo piece, they went for the Fulminator Mage. Probably indicating that they already have the combo. If our opponent's last two cards are Electro Dominance... Okay, they get rid of Mazes End. Alright, play an Amulet, play a Forest, pass the turn... Opponent's got nothing. Oh gosh. Growth Spiral. Put in a Guild Gate. Untap it. Draw a card. Oh, we might be getting somewhere now. So let's scape shift and we'll sack the lands that we don't need and we know we have duplicates of. And let's go get, let's see, Selesnia, Simic. Rule. Okay. Bunch of triggers. Untap our lands. Draw, draw, draw. Okay. Explore. Play a guild gate. Draw and untap. Okay, we got a fog. We got a fog, so we're a little safe now. So green, red. We have all of the green guild gates now. Um, yeah, let's explore one more time. Okay. Did not draw. Did not draw a guild gate. Pass the turn. We're getting really close. Opponent Cathartic Reunions, pitching Living End and Monstrous Caryabid. So they're looking for an Electro Dominance. Opponent Duresses. We have one, two, three, four lands in the grave. Opponent scoops it up! <laughs> gate shift! Gate shift versus living end! We got there! Yes! Alright. Gate shift. Round two. Mm, mana is kind of questionable here, but we do have an amulet of vigor. If we get a blue source, we'll be in a good spot. Uh oh, is this storm? Play an amulet. Freak our opponent out. Make them think we're playing a deck that isn't guild gates.
pass the turn, see what our opponent does. Opponent plays an island. Plays a Kiln Fiend. Oh, I see. We're against... We're against Kiln Fiend. Suddenly regretting keeping a hand with not much action in it. Opponent plays a Consuming Fervor on their Kiln Fiend and Distortion Strike. Well, I'm not sure we can actually beat this with this hand. We take 8, go to 12. We draw Maze's End. But even if we play it, we can't really do anything. So we're going to go ahead and concede, go to game 2, before we have to show our opponent what we're up to. So let's bring in Fogs. Uh, the other Gates Ablaze is good. And there's an argument for Duress. I don't know if that's what we do. This deck should be playing Ancient Stirrings. At least a couple of to try and find Amulet and Lands. Hmm. I think that's something I need to edit the deck to do. Drop one, bring the light. Run it back. I would love to play first. Um, it's slow, but it's it's the guild gate hand, so we'll keep it. Play a Simic Guild Gate past the turn. Opponent starts Lava Mancer, or get to Lava Runner, excuse me. Um, play a Gateway Plaza. Pay one. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Shivan Reef and a Kiln Fiend. Would really like a Gates Ablaze. That'd be really sweet. We draw Fog. Okay, Fog is not a bad draw here. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Sulphur Falls. Maybe we can get him with Remand. And a Storm Chaser Mage. We will Remand Storm Chaser. Get a Simic Guild Gate. Opponent gets in for two. Bolts our face. We wouldn't mind the untapped gain three life land right about now. Okay, we draw an amulet of vigor. Play amulet. Play Simic Guild Gate. Untap it. I don't think it's one, one of the ones we can tutor for, but we will cycle this open the gates. Let's get, um, let's get an Is It Guild Gate. Pass the turn. Wanna play a Shivan Reef? Get to Lava Runner. If we don't have to fog this turn, we're not going to. Storm Chaser Mage. Is there a last card a bolt? Evidently not. I think they should have done it prior if they were going to, because of Lava Runner. Maybe that's just a play mistake by our opponent? 
gets in for a lot. We don't block. Okay, I believe this bolt is exactly lethal unless we fog. Because this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh, just eight. All right. We fog. All right, a little bit of a desperation play here. Not going to tap any gates. We're really only going to need one. We're only going to get one draw here. Play is, is it guild gate. Untap it. We draw bring to light. All right, if our opponent has nothing in hand... We might be able to find a way out of this, but I think that's highly doubtful. It's a land. Opponent currently has six damage on board. If their last card in hand is a land, we get one more turn to try and figure this out. Opponent gets in for six. Oh no. <laughs> They've got something. Searing blood. Yep. Well, that does it. Here we go. Yes, I would love to play first. Oh. No green mana. We do have a remand, but I don't know that that's strong enough. I think we have to be proactive. Okay. Okay. All right, Growth Spiral enabled in this hand. We will keep. Opponent mulligans to six as well. Mulligans to five. Uh, Guild Summit. We'll put Guild Summit on top. Play Demir Guildgate past the turn. Opponent. Plays an island. Serum Visions. We untap. We play a forest. Pass the turn. No reason to let our opponent know what's going on just yet. They might think that we're some kind of budget bug deck. Put a place of steam vents. Thing in the ice. All right. We grow spiral. Put Boros Guildgate into play. Um, let's guild summit and play Guildgate. It's really important to get this down when our opponent's not uh, suspecting something like this. Especially if they have any counter spells whatsoever. So it looks like this is probably the Phoenix thing in the ice deck. So play Guildgate, draw a card. We get a Splendid Reclamation. That will be useful if we go for the full combo. Opponent. Probably playing Manamorphos. It's a Manamorphos. Adds red, blue, looting. Hopefully we get a land off the top here. Opponent discards. Opt serum visions. Thought scours themselves. Mills opt arid mesa. All right, so we got a little bit lucky there. Opponent loots again. Oh no, maybe not. If they drop two phoenixes here, we're gonna be really sad. Opponent has gone very far in their deck. Opponent pitches land land. Okay. Well, that's good news for us. Opponent gets in for seven. We go to thirteen. Untap land, please. Okay, Amulet of Vigor doesn't quite do it. So I think we need to Circuitous Route. We will get a Simic and Grohl Guildgate. Gate. 
Okay. All right. I think if we survive one more turn, we win. I'm almost certain. If our opponent doesn't have a counter spell and can't kill us this turn, I think we win the game. Like, if our opponent just goes flashback looting this turn, which isn't all that unlikely, I mean, they're going to be like, it's the Guildgate deck, you know? So just flashback looting opponent. There's nothing to, like, be worried about. I really, really want the full combo. I've never been able to do it yet. I've, I've, I did, like, a couple of test rounds, and I really want to be able to do it. Okay, opponent passes. So we play Amulet. Play another Amulet. Play Simic Guildgate. Turn off auto yields. Untap it, tap it for green, untap it, tap it for green, draw a card. We draw a remand. Ooh, I think that does it. I think that guarantees the victory. Um, Maybe not. They could have a counter spell that gets around it, but... So let's scape shift. If our opponent doesn't have a counter or has a counter that they can't recast after remand, we win the game. Oh, it's happening. I can't believe my eyes, but it is happening. Okay, so we get Maze's End, Selesnya Guildgate, Rakdos Guildgate, Is It Guildgate? Whatever this land is that. Island? We do not want an island. Golgari Guildgate. Azorius Guildgate. Did we get all of the oddball ones? And let's do... Hmm... Plaza of Harmony. So many triggers. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Please let me play this out, opponent. Tap it for blue. Tap it for white. Tap it for red. Tap it for black. Tap it for green. Tap it for green. Tap it for green. Tap it for green. Untap. Uh, we'll just we'll let these go now. We have plenty of mana. Draw a bunch of cards. Gain three life. Cast Splendid Reclamation. Get back all of our lands. Oh my gosh, if this works. And now, once we put all of these abilities on the stack, we activate Maze's End for the victory? Oh my goodness, please, please, please let this work. I will be so ecstatic. Let me combo out, opponent. Let me combo it out. I just want to activate Maze's End. Oh, opponent is being such a good sport right now. We go get a Gruel Guildgate, and we win! <laughs> 
Yes, we got there with the full combo. Oh, it's six life versus is it Phoenix? Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. We bring in Fogs, Gates of Blaze. Uh, we'll bring in some lone missionaries, and what do we cut? Okay, um, we'll go down some explorers, we'll drop one ancient stirrings, um, we will cut urban evolution, a bring to light, and I guess we go down the last explorer. And we fired it back! That was awesome! That was game one? I can't believe we won game one! Um... We'll keep this. Play it as it, Guildgate. Pass the turn. Opponent fetches up a steam vents, tapped. This deck might be real. Oh my goodness. Opponent plays a thing in the ice. We draw Fog. So we can play Plaza of Harmony and hold up Remand. But I think we want to play Gateway Plaza this turn to enable the life gain from Plaza of Harmony. Um, on top of which... We want to be able to cast Growth Spiral as soon as we can. The opponent casts a Serum Visions. I mean, Radiant Fountains that tap for any color of mana, better Radiant Fountains. Untapped Rainbow Lands are almost worth playing Rupture Spires. Okay, opponent plays a Spire Bluff Canal. Passes the turn. We play a Plaza of Harmony. Gain some life. Pass the turn. Opponent bolts our face. Takes a counter off thing in the ice. Bolts our, oh, hard casts a gut shot. Okay. Last card is Arclight Phoenix. Oh shoot! I should have growth spiraled and then remanded, but I did not. Well, that's okay. If we draw Guildgate off of growth spiral. Okay. We can Gates Ablaze if we get a Guildgate and then draw Guildgate. Okay, untap, bring to light. So we can cast Gates of Blaze, but we only kill Arclight Phoenix. We can cast bring to light, but I don't think, scapeshift, sudden reclamation, um, I don't think there's anything we want to actually cast. So we're gonna bide our time for a minute here. If our opponent draws a land, that's the best for us, but um, if not, they're going to flip thing in the ice, which will return Phoenix to their hand. We're holding some fogs, though. Okay, opponent. Attacks for three. No blocks. We untap. We draw guild gate. All right, here we go. Gates ablaze. Four damage to all creatures. Did we get the thing in the ice? 
Oh, opponent was pump faking with a land. We wiped the board. Oh, that feels super good. Opponent opts. And they've got nothing. We'll just keep playing Guild Gates. We could go for the two turn with Scape Shift um, and then bring the light. Okay, opponent Thought Scours themselves. Mills an island and a Thought Scour. Casts Manamorphose. We will remand Manamorphose. We draw our third fog. Opponent plays a land. Fetches. Opponent gonna recast Manamorphose. For red blue, Thought Scours themselves again. Faithless looting. Well, bad news for our opponent. Even if they reanimate a bunch of phoenixes here, we have several fogs in hand. Okay, opponent, gonna reanimate a phoenix. Gets in for three. We cast a fog. We don't need too many of them. We untap, we draw Simic Guild Gate. Hmm. I think we're going to scape shift here for a bunch of the more oddball gates that we don't have. That way we can set up, and Maze's End, that way we can set up the Bring to Light Lethal next turn. Okay. So we get Maze's End, Azorius, Boros, Orzov, Rakdos, and Selesnia Guildgate. Next turn, we can bring to light for our Sudden Reclamation. Okay, opponent bolts our face. Blood Moon? No, not Blood Moon. Oh, we were so close. Oh, if I'd saved that remand. Uh, we draw amulet. Play an amulet. Uh, I think we die now. Oh. Brutal. Well, Blood Moon answers a bunch of land strategies. If we draw a forest, we can fog maybe until we hit Bring the Light, but I don't think we have an answer to Blood Moon in the deck. I don't think we have a way to bounce it. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and concede. Yeah, it was two turns away. We wouldn't have survived that long. 
Okay, do we have any answers to Blood Moon in this deck? We have duresses. I guess we bring them in. In the future, we definitely, definitely uh, need to have some kind of answer for Blood Moon in the side. Mm, so we'll drop an Ancient Stirrings. We'll drop one... Let's drop another Ancient Stirrings. Try like this. Uh, we would like to play first. All right, we got Amulet. We got Guild Summit. This is probably the fairest hand we've had to keep. If our opponent has an early Blood Moon, we're going to scoop. But, oh, we were so close to winning. We just had to untap, and our opponent didn't have to have Blood Moon there. Okay, opponent mills themselves with Thought Scour. Dumping Faithless Looting and another Thought Scour. We draw Plaza of Harmony. So play an Amulet of Vigor. Play a Grohl Guildgate. Untap it. Pass the turn. Opponent's going to start with a Cantrip. Okay. Opponent starts Manamorphose, probably. There's a Manamorphos. Opponent Faithless Looting. Well, we'd like a Duress off the top just to make sure our opponent doesn't have Blood Moon. Opponent drops Is It Charm and Thought Scour. And Thought Scours themselves again. Yeah, we definitely need some Nature's Claims in the sideboard, I think. We'll play Selesnya Guildgate, untap it, and run out Guild Summit. I don't think there's much use to faking a counter spell. Blood Moon is such a critical like counter card to this deck that you would just run it out. I think I think our opponent's deck, which probably has multiple in the sideboard, would run it out regardless of whether or not we were pump faking disruption. Oh, I played the wrong land because I should have I should have kept the gate and played Maze's End instead. That way we could get a draw. Opponent plays Thing in the Ice. No Blood Moon yet. Okay, Boros Guildgate. Play Boros Guildgate. Untap it. Draw with Guild Summit. Is it Guildgate? Okay. Well, let's Scape Shift. Sack all our lands. Get a Simic Guildgate. A Azorius, Demir, and Golgari Guildgate. Four draws, untap our lands. We draw Lone Missionary, Growth Spiral, Plaza of Harmony. Okay, so let's hmm. let's pass the turn. Opponent fetches with Scalding Tarn, finds a Steam Vents tapped. We're going to discard Lone Missionary. Opponent shock steam vents. Manamorphose takes a counter off thing in the ice. Adds red blue.
Flashes back. Faithless looting. No Blood Moon this turn. We might get there. On the discards, Pyromancer's Ascension and Crackling Drake. Bolt our face. Unless they have a gut shot, they can't even flip thing in the ice. Oh, they got the gut shot. Okay. All right, we're going to take a lot of damage here, but that's okay. We're going to gain a lot back. Okay, opponent does four damage, gets in for seven, takes us to nine. Okay, to our end step. We Growth Spiral, we draw Scape Shift, put in, is it Guildgate? It untaps, we draw, Splendid Reclamation, and that does it. Uh, growth Spiral, put in Maze's End, untap it. We draw Gates Ablaze. Okay, so we have between what's in our hand, what's in the grave, we have, we're missing a Gruel Guild Gate, Selesny and Boros. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Activation is 10. I think that does it. So play a Rakdos Guild Gate, draw a card, untap. Um, then we cast Splendid Reclamation, get all of our lands back, so we're missing, we can go get Gateway Plaza, we don't have to think about it. We get... Gateway Plaza. Win the game. We won a match. We won another match. Gate shift. All right. All right. Before next round, we're going to add a couple of nature's claims. All right. Let's play first. Um, This is not the fastest hand, but because we can get down Amulet on turn one, I'm willing to keep it, especially on the play. Start Plaza of Harmony, cast Amulet of Vigor. It's also Inquisition proof if our opponent is playing a hand hate deck of any kind any kind. Uh-oh. If this is burn, we're gonna regret not having that life gain. Opponent starts Goblin Guide. Draw me a good land, Goblin Guide. Simic Guild Gate on top. That's a good land. Thank you. We untap, we draw another Simic Guild Gate. Well, play Guildgate, untap it, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Mountain, plays a Swift Spear, and a second Swift Spear, gets in for four. Goblin Guide finds us a Guildgate. If we could get a Gates Ablaze off the top here, that'd be really fantastic. Boros Guildgate. Not quite what we were hoping for. Play a Grohl Guildgate, untap it, pass the turn. We might be able to do some skate shift, escape shift trickery here. Opponent Boros charms us, getting in for the big damage. Deals four, attacks for six, takes us to four. Top of our deck is Gates Ablaze. Okay, so let's, hmm, let's play a Boros Guild Gate, have it untap, tap, 
and we will scape shift here and we will get let's see Rakdos guild gate Selesnia guild gate Plaza of Harmony Plaza of Harmony gain 6 life untap all of our lands Splendid Reclamation. Get back all the lands we just sacked. Gain three more life. Oh man, that's powerful. This feels really good. Wrath the board away. Pass the turn. <laughs> Next turn we get to play Maze's End. Gain nine life. Opponent Boros Charms. We got Spectacle Bolt. Is our opponent running? They do. Skewer the Critics. Okay. We draw Gateway Plaza. We'll play Maze's End. Have it untap. Pass the turn. We're a few lands away. Opponent plays a Goblin Guide. Suspends a Rift Bolt. We're going to be dead in a hurry here if... Uh, we will get something soon. A Goblin Guide reveals Ancient Stirrings. Well, we don't want to draw Ancient Stirrings here, I don't think. So we'll activate Maze's End. Um, let's get one of the ones we don't have yet. We'll do Demir Guildgate. Have it on tap. Opponent gets in for two, bolts us. Opponent has a Rift Bolt on Suspend, so we need something. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can get a seventh, but unfortunately, we have to scoop it up. Well, that was that was really close. We had we had a lot of good power there on the board. So bring in Lone Missionaries. Bring in. What was that other card? Another Gates Ablaze. I think Fog is reasonable considering the amount of burn creatures our opponent is running. We'll drop an Urban Evolution, drop a Bring to Light. Uh, Remand is really bad here. And I think we'll get rid of one, one Ancient Stirrings. Try like that. Splendid Reclamation, in combination with Scape Shift and Amulet of Vigor, feels really powerful. All right. Game 2 versus Burn. Mm, we have an Ancient Stirrings, so that's good. Kind of depends on what we draw, but I'm willing to keep this because we have green mana. Put a mulligan to 6. We start Grohl Guildgate, pass the turn. Opponent starts Bloodstained Mire, fetches, finds a mountain, and plays Lava Spike. All right. So let's... Oh, I played the wrong Guildgate to start. Uh, play Amulet of Vigor. Play Gateway Plaza. It untaps, have it pay for itself. Now it's just a tapped rainbow land. <laughs> Opponent plays Inspiring Vantage and smashes our amulet to smithereens. That's a little disheartening, but we draw Fog. Ancient Stirrings, we find an amulet of vigor. Uh, unfortunately, we wanted some of those cards, put it to the bottom. Play Amulet. Play Demir Guildgate. Untap it. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Wooded Foothills, fetches with Wooded Foothills, and finds a mountain. Boros charms us. Skewers the critic. 
Ouch. Don't know why they're pausing, okay. We draw a Simic Guild Gate. Hmm, play Mazes End. Pass the turn. Opponent's turn. Opponent has another Smash to Smithereens. Well, let's Mazes End and get a Selesnia Guild Gate so that we can at least potentially fog if necessary. Ooh, okay. Well, gonna need a bit of luck here. If we can get to where we can cast Bring to Light, if our opponent doesn't have another Boros Charm or two Bolts, there's a Rift Bolt. We can fetch up our life gain lands and lightning helix. That's not lethal. Guild summit. Okay. Play Simic Guild Gate. Green, blue, black, red, white. Bring the light for Scape Shift. Cast Scape Shift. Sack a bunch of our lands. And let's go get... Okay, Simic. How many lands did I sacrifice? Five. Okay. Let's get a Simic Guild Gate. And because we're really low, get all of our Plazas of Harmony. <laughs> Gain 12 life. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> We're going to need Sudden Reclamation to win, though. But the good news is we have Guild Summit. Opponent casts a main phase Lightning Helix, plays a land. They're Hellbent. We draw... Something. Opponent stopped on her upkeep. Another scape shift. Ooh. Okay. So play Guild Summit. We will not. Um. Actually, yes, we will tap that gate. We draw Growth Spiral. Play a Guild Gate. Draw a card. We draw Gates Ablaze. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Swift Spear. Gets in for one. We take it. And let's Growth Spiral. Put in a Maze's End. Untap. Oh my goodness. Okay. So play Amulet. Play Amulet. Um, what do we get here? I guess we tap all of our lands for what we think might be useful colors of mana. And cast a scape shift. Sack all of our lands. Pick up pretty much every land we can back in the deck. So many triggers! Oh my gosh, so many triggers. Uh, we're going to turn off auto yields to make sure we can get all of this mana. Don't know if we'll need it, but... Or don't know if we'll be able to use it, rather. But... Okay...
we will leave our gates untapped just in case we draw another uh, guild summit here. Ooh. There's sudden reclamation. Oh, we just win. So many triggers. Oh, I have to put them on the stack. Gain a bunch of life. Oh, man. A border concedes. We made it. We won against Burn. Oh. If this is the case, I think we need to keep Bring to Light. Um, and we'll actually go down probably uh, Escape Shift. No, Escape Shift is too powerful. It can gain us too much life. We'll go down and explore. Run it back. Game three. Oh, man. This is really tempting, but we're missing white and blue, which we really need. Opponent did keep a seven card hand. Let's try and get a better one. Okay. Uh, Gates ablaze to the bottom. Let's try this one. Opponent starts Inspiring Vantage. Plays a Swift Spear. Gets in for one. We go to 19. Untap. We draw Bring to Light. Start Simic Guildgate. Pass the turn. Opponent plays an Arid Mesa. Fetches with Arid Mesa and finds a mountain. Plays a second Monastery Swift Spear. Gets in for two. We go to 17. We untap. We draw. Ancient Stirrings. Hmm. Once again, I think having untapped green matters more. If I had remembered that, I would have started Orzhov Guildgate. But since I did not, let's play Amulet. Play Orzhov Guildgate, untap it, pass the turn. Opponent smashes the amulet to smithereens. Sad face. Gets in for four, takes us to ten. We draw Maze's End. Well, let's Ancient Stirrings. Hmm. Let's take a forest here. Put the rest of the bottom. Play Maze's End. We might have to do our life gain trick again. Provided our opponent does not have a skull crack. Opponent Boros charms us, does four, gets in for four, takes us to two. We untap, get a Gruel Guildgate. Well, I guess we have to try and gain some life, so scape shift. Let's get a Simic Guildgate. a Boros Guild Gate, and two Plazas of Harmony. Gain six life, pass the turn. Opponent gets in for two, takes us to six. We could very well be dead to Lava Spike Spectacle, uh, the Lava Spike, and then like, uh, ooh, we survive, at least for a little bit. 
We draw a guild summit. Hmm. Play Guild Summit. Play Gruel Guild Gate. Draw a card. We draw Scape Shift. All right. Well, if we somehow survive, opponent Skull Cracks takes us to three. If our opponent's holding five lands. They're not. Well, that's unfortunate. But we had game. We won game two. I think we've already played this person. That was who we just played. So we're against Burn again. Most likely. The rematch. Well, with the knowledge that it's Burn, we will keep this hand. Start with the more important of the two guild gates first. Opponent starts Mountain and Monastery Swift Spear. Gets in for one. We draw Gateway Plaza. We will play Gateway Plaza as it allows us to use our mana efficiently this turn. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Wooded Foothills. Fetches, finds a Sacred Foundry, shocks it in, goes to 17, and plays a Goblin Guide. Plays a second goblin guide, gets in. Top of our car, top of our deck is Growth Spiral. Unfortunately, we will not be able to have an untapped third land for this Gates of Blaze. That's a little disheartening. What I wouldn't do for a Simeon Spirit Guide right now. Okay, so let's go green, green. Well, I guess first play a land. Green, green, explore. We draw Plaza of Harmony. Play the Guild Gate. Pass the turn. Well, the good news is we can gain a little life next turn. Opponent Lava Spikes. Are dealing nine damage. If they have another bolt, we're dead. Skewer the critics. Darn. So if we had play, oh no, we're still alive, but barely. We draw forest. We go to one. Hmm. If we draw an amulet of vigor, we can win. I'm positive. We have to draw Amulet of Vigor for that. Opponent stopped on our upkeep. Amulet. Off the top one time. Remand. Okay, not what we were hoping for. So play Plaza of Harmony. Gain three life. Tap all our mana. Scape shift. Let's get plaza, 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 and uh, Selesnia Guildgate. Gain nine life, pass the turn. Opponent plays a Boros Charm, takes us to nine, attacks, takes us to six. Top of our deck is Guild Summit. So we untap, draw Guild Summit, play a Forest, Gates ablaze, pass the turn. We have remand if they only have a two mana burn spell. Okay, Lava Mancer doesn't do it. Not by itself, anyway. They pass, we untap. 
on our upkeep opponent. Okay. So if our opponent has a bolt, we're dead. But if we hmm, if we bring the light for um, reclamation and we put all of our lands back in play, we can gain three life. But that takes all of our mana. I think it's still probably worth trying. Our opponent could be slow rolling a bolt here. Okay, we gain three. Play a Simic Guild Gate, pass the turn. Opponent shoots us for two. We go to four. Spectacle Bolt. All right. So we have to somehow win this turn. So play Guild Summit. When it enters, we will tap a few Guild Gates we know we don't need. Draw some cards. Hmm. Play Amulet. Play Boros Guildgate. Draw a card, untap it. Growth Spiral, we're kind of reaching now. Simic Guildgate, untap it, draw a card. Um. Well, we have to Gates Ablaze to kill Lava Mancer, but I think our opponent has a burn spell. Darn. <laughs> oh, well, we were close. Okay, Gates Ablaze, Missionaries in, Fog, Fog, Fog. Um, and let's go down. Um, Remands, pretty bad. Cut one, Urban Evolution, and Ancient Stirrings, and let's say maybe Circuitous Route. Run it back. Uh, we would love to play first. Hmm. This is really close, but I don't think we can handle it. Well, we have Gates Ablaze. We'll try it. Bring the light to the bottom. And we'll start Is It Guildgate. Pass the turn. Put a place of Wooded Foothills. Cracks it. Finds a Sacred Foundry. Plays Goblin Guide. Gets in for two. Amulet of Vigor on top. Well, that's good news. Play Amulet. Play Gateway Plaza. Have it untap. Pay for itself. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a mountain. Or an Arid Mesa fetches, finds a mountain. Plays another Goblin Guide. Plays a third Goblin Guide. Okay, we get a Plaza of Harmony, an Island, and a Simic Guildgate. Take six, we untap. Uh, play Plaza, gain three, set the gates ablaze, pass the turn. 
Opponent plays Inspiring Vantage. Suspends a Rift Bolt. I have a sneaking suspicion that our opponent has a, a smash to Smithereens. So I'm going to wait on this other Plaza of Harmony. Play another Gateway Plaza. Pay for it. Pass the turn. Boros charms us. Rift Bolt coming off Suspend. Does three damage to us. They play a mountain. At least it wasn't a burn spell. They pass. We draw Explore. We'll play Simic Guild Gate. Have it on tap. Explore. Opponent skull cracks. We draw, bring to light. Okay. Play a Rakdos Guildgate. Have it untap. Opponent isn't going to let us uh, escape shift for our life gain lands, but we can set up for the bring to light win next turn. So sack all our lands. Get Maze's End. Oh, I get one more. Um, Orzhov Guildgate. Put all the triggers on the stack. Okay, as long as our opponent does not have two burn spells this turn, two sources of damage, we should be okay. There's no single source of damage in burn that should do five. Opponent fragmentizes our Amulet of Vigor and skewers the critic. If that fragmentize had been a burn spell, we'd have been toast. Um, play Plaza of Harmony. Okay, one, two, three, four, five guild gates. And we have quite a few in the grave. So let's green, blue, Red, blue, white. Get Splendid Reclamation. Cast it without paying its mana cost. Gain three more life. Pay for one. I almost, I almost screwed up that... Uh... <laughs> almost screwed up paying for that... Um... Bring the light. Opponent skewers the critic. We untap. We draw Plaza of Harmony with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different guild gates. So as long as we Maze's End for the right one, we win. I uh, believe it's Selesnia Guild Gate. And we win! Going on, game three! Oh, this is so fun! I love this deck so much! And we're hanging in there against some really aggressive decks. I mean, we beat Is It Phoenix, and we beat, uh, we've, we've almost beaten Burn. Uh, we almost beat Burn last round, I mean. This round remains to be seen. Oh, this looks like a good hand. We'll keep this hand. Simic Guildgate plus Plaza of Harmony allows us to Growth Spiral. Opponent starts Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Suspends a Rift Bolt. Okay. We get a Fog. Start Guildgate. Pass the turn. Uh, 
Rift Bolt coming off suspend does three damage to us. They play Inspiring Vantage, play a Goblin Guide. Play a Lava Spike. Get in for two, take us to 12. We draw Azorius Guildgate. We draw an Izzet Guildgate, so play Plaza of Harmony, pass the turn. Uh, we're going to discard... If we're going to need to Splendid Reclamation, it's okay to discard one of our more off-color Guildgates. So we'll discard Azorius Guildgate. Hopefully we don't need white mana anytime soon. But we'll see. Opponent gets in for two. Bolts our face. Escape shift on top. We take two, go to seven. Okay. Opponent's end step, growth spiral, draw escape shift. Put in Demir Guildgate, untap. Opponent goes to Skull Crack. We Growth Spiral now. Play Plaza of Harmony. Gain three life. Kind of counter the Skull Crack damage there. Get a little value out of it. We draw Ancient Stirrings. Hmm. Play hmm. I think we have to keep fog ready. We'll play Simic Guild Gate, pass the turn. I think the chance our opponent does too much damage to us this turn is really high. So they attack with Goblin Guide. They reveal another Simic Guild Gate. We fog. Opponent skull cracks us, so we can't prevent the damage. We go to two. Untap. We draw Gates of Blaze. So let's Ancient Stirrings. Find an amulet. Rest to the bottom. Play Amulet. Play Simic Guild Gate. Untap it. Scape shift. And we get... Hmm. We need four lands that aren't Gateway Plaza. So let's go Golgari Guildgate, Roll Guildgate, Let's do plazas so we have a little bit more time. Um, and then we will do Rakdos and Selesnia. So gain six, untap all our lands. Oh man, this is so powerful. Splendid Reclamation. Get a bunch more lands, gain even more life. And then... Gates Ablaze. Deal with their only threat. Oh, I should have gotten a Maze's End. That was bad on my part. Should have gotten a Maze's End. Alright, well let's Growth Spiral. Okay, this should do it. Green, red, white, black, blue. Bring to light. Or scape shift. Cast it without paying its mana cost. 
uh, sack the lands we don't need any duplicates of should be plenty we'll get boros guild gate gateway plaza Earl guild gate mazes and orzov guild gate get the last summit guild gate for funsies and we've done it we've beaten burn in the rematch Activate Maze's End. Yes! 